Here we go. Bubble Man and John B. We are in the truck. We have everything from bubble nows, plants, hash, pounds of weed. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen, ready to run, bubble bags, bubble boxes, dry sift screens, med tainers. Basically, we're going up to Whistler and we're gonna film our, our Puff Wednesdays up in Whistler. We thought, well, let's go make some hash on the side of the mountain. So we're gonna like Fresh frozen. Yeah, dude. Up at Whistler, and it's and it's dumping up there right now. Oh man, we've talked about this for so long. So this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Sleds on the back of the truck, just in case we might go do a backcountry adventure. We'll you keep you guys people? posted. We'll keep you guys posted. 2014 is looking awesome. Yeah, dude. Right on. Woo! See you guys soon. See ya. We're off to Whis. All right, here we are entering the C2 Sky Highway. This is the road that will take us up to Whistler. We'll keep you. All right. Driving on the Sea to Sky Highway. Personally, I'm not allowed to consume cannabis while I'm driving. But John's not driving, is he? No, John's not driving. And God, we've been on the road for what, like three minutes now? I would say two. Yeah, so it's just obviously we've gone two minutes longer than we need to. And, and, and right now, honestly, just like, fuck, I feel like I'm gonna pee not doing it all. Lifting all that heavy ice that we put in the car in. Yeah, you've been um, working hard for sure, John. I'm definitely just gonna do this. Doing some uh, full melt here of uh, many haze. Full melt, hey, many haze, car rips. Oh yeah, beautiful. How's that? It looks beautiful. Smells thing. really nice. We've got the Pacific Ocean just on our left. For those of you that have driven up to Whistler before, you may know the highway, the Sea to Sky Highway, the number 99. We've got about a $900 million overhaul on this highway when the Olympics came here in 2010. And basically <laughs> made it so only a small section of the highway is single lane like what we're finding right here. Yeah, he was going pretty good, wasn't he? That GoPro is really cool. Johnny's up for Rippo number two. We're gonna try and do 99 rips on the way up to the uh, Whistler here on the 99 highway. I'll be the designated driver, happy to do it. <laughs> this is a new section of the Sea to Sky Highway actually right up here. And you can see how they've dynamited through this mountain to extend the highway into a four lane. This is cool, I've never have it been up here. Like, yeah, Shannon Archer's memorial's just on the other side where that young girl died in the car accident. She's got a little memorial where the highway used to be. Across the way we have Anvil Island in the clouds there. Kind of looks like an anvil. And to the left of that, further back, we have Gambier. The defense islands out front there. And Bowen Island back back behind us. So you see this one? Oh we saw it. <laughs> Alright, just driving through by Shannon Falls. Oh, that's a nice thing. The chief barely picking out. Let's see if we can see the falls. Yes, we can. Oh yeah, there it is. The gondola. Just for tourists. If you look to the right, you'll see white heads in the trees. Those are bald eagles. And there's usually quite a few of them. I can see two right there, right by the river. Nice, look at that. Yeah, just hanging out. All right, we've got into a little snow. Just a little bit. Right next to the Chicamas Creek. This river. 
Yeah, I'd like to be talking to some of these places, but it seems like I'm still down the road a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a little early for, for my, for where I come in yet. I wish it wasn't, but... Hey everyone! Welcome to Bubble Man's World! Woo! I'm here with John B. Welcome to Whistler! Function Junction, we're gonna go whip up a batch of some beautiful bubble hash up on the mountain. We're gonna do some dry sifting. John's brought some beautiful colas fresh off the plant. We'll see you in Whistler. Coming into Chicamas Cross and Function Junction. This is Creekside, this is Old Whistler. You know, there's still some newer condos over by the gondola, which is right over there. See the mountain? That's what I remember. Right there. It's uh, busy. All right, heading over to the room. Sweet. Ah. <gasps> what have we here? The tools. Sweet. So this is where we're going to be Spending the next 24 or so hours yeah. here at the Hotel Interwest. Nice. Pretty nice little facility, little one bedroom. Nice little one bedroom suite. Got the table. We'll have the D-nail set up on that ASAP. Our material sitting out here. Got a mountain view, even though it's kind of being covered right now by the fog. And, and of course we have this. And of course we have this. Ice. We know what that's yes. for. We know what that is for. And, and the good ice. Oh yeah, nice ice, nice ice. Excellent. All right. I guess uh, it's time to make some plans. Shall we set up the mothership and get the Dino going? I think we should do that. All right, okay. we'll be right back. Welcome to Bubble Man's world. There we are. John B, Mark R, the Bubble Man, hanging out with you in Whistler. We're up in Whistler, we just got here. It's a beautiful day. This, this, you can kind of see the, the runs are coming out now. All the mist is lifting. Oh yeah, on both sides. Just beautiful, Whistler, and we thought we would do a little Puff Wednesdays. I think it's a great thing. You know, why not? We've got fresh frozen buds that John has cut down just a couple of days ago. They've been frozen since he cut them down. What, uh, what strains? Uh, we're doing uh, My Little Pony. My Little Pony. What a funny name. I know we're going to get a lot of great comments on YouTube for this, <laughs> but John has a strain called the My Little Pony. It is very unique in its flavor and its, and its taste. And when you close your eyes, someone said it smells like My Little Pony, and hence that's how the name came about. That is kind of how the name came about. Was that not in... Uh in Toronto in May, or was that even pre? It was pre-Toronto, and then I laughed with it in Toronto, and it stuck. Everybody just loved it, so here we go. Yeah, it's funny, you know? It's fun. So, of course, we brought the D-nail, mothership combo. We got the puking bee, um, quartz bowl. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. Puking bee, beagle, the, this is my little the master of quartz. Oh, you got some My Little Pony Fresh Frozen. This is what I made on Christmas Day, actually. Maybe we'll do a video upload someday. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Film it. Ooh, that looks nice. I've got my macro lens, so I'll be able to shoot this and, and put it into the video so you can kind of see what we're, what we're hitting. I'm about to drop this Fresh Frozen onto the quartz nail that's going at 750 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a little bit cold outside, so we'll see how the D-nail performs. You know how bubbly that is, and you can hear it just such a nice mothership, of course. Wow, and 
that is a lovely taste. Smooth. Oh, very nice. Excellent. So, yeah, it's exciting to be up in Whistler. You know, I've been coming up here since 1991, but it's something I've never actually shared on my channels or with my followers. This year, you've probably heard me talk a few times how I want to make it out to the glacier. I want to do a batch of bubble uh, with my crew, my backcountry crew, sledding, access only, get up to the Pemberton ice caps into the, one of the ice caves, and do a nice little batch of uh, fresh frozen or even some dry sifting as well. While also showing you the adventures that we go through just to get to these areas, and then of course, you know, to show you some of the footage of the epic riding that goes on as well, from ski flying to uh, you know, cliff jumping and features off of uh, off of epic backcountry cliffs and rocks and 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 whatnot. So definitely looking forward to doing all that. I'm fun. I'm just really excited to be up in Whistler, man. This is the first time we've been up here filming. You know, it makes me want to hit another bowl. Would you like to try some of the many H fresh frozen? I will not say no. You will not say no. John is the fresh frozen king. Well, he showed me something that just utterly totally helps me so much for with all my conditions and one thing I've realized is actually the fresh frozen is what helps me the most for sure well um, you know what it's not just the showing John uh, it's your humility in the way you accept being shown and that, that I'll tell you guys something it goes a long way to have someone tell you something show you something and for you to listen to them to a point where you benefit from it and I'll tell you John from the get-go from the dry sift cleaning 11 months ago yeah. And then to the fresh frozen it wet works. washing. Yeah, you it dark. works. Okay, that's a nice hit, by the way. Thank you. That's a golden, delicious. That's the golden ticket right there. That, that's like by far just, just beautiful. I mean, about the carb cut. Just, I didn't know how much he's going to appreciate that. Because that's by far, that was day 84. And of course, stop feeding on day 35. So, once again, your 40 day <coughs> flush. <coughs> oh my gosh. That is divine. It, that back end tastes it's so deep. Many, but the it's beginning so flavor deep. of the hazy skunky. <coughs> it's definitely. Um, <coughs> wow, I can't believe how, um, how flavorful that was. Isn't that amazing? That really is. It tasted almost like, f like fresh material. Scooper! Scooper! Gotta give it up to Skillet Tool. Oh, yeah. I love my gold Skillet Tool. <coughs> I'm gonna let you hang on to this because I definitely don't want to. <coughs> God, is that beautiful? The color of that is absolutely. I mean, that's just. It's, it's the infamous white lady. And of course, what he's done is he's gotten, I'd say, 90% of it into pure, perfect powder. And then the tiny little chunks that aren't pure, perfect powder. They have a different color. They're a little more caramelly, a little deeper, and you can tell that they have the tiniest bit of moisture in them. The, 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 the dry parts are bone dry. But the little other parts, <coughs> and I'll show you that while I'm talking about it, you'll see these photos appear. And um, yeah, this one piece in particular, really nice little kind of, almost a little hot dog. Yeah, I kind of left that in there for a reason. I keep watching and looking at it. And that's yeah, like, it's nice. We'll take a photo of that. Uh, and did you, this is microplaned. Definitely microplane, yeah. and of course dry it on cardboard. Great, well I'm looking forward to photographing it. There's been rumors of people discussing, um, oh, people always assume that certain things damage trichome heads, squeezing them, um, grinding them, <coughs> all these sort of variations of things that could potentially damage a trichome. The macro camera lens really shows what's going on, so I like the idea. I'm going to photograph all John's microplane bubble. We'll get in really close, and we'll see if we can see any heads that have been, you know, damaged or, or broken. I, do, from the color, which it's pretty much white, I would guess that there's no damage because if you breach those heads in any way and you let oxygen in, uh, the color turns really fast. Wow. Yeah, faster than, say, leaving it out to be exposed to oxygen and or uh, just light. You know what I mean? Those yeah. two things, exposing it to those two things will darken it as well over time. But if you breach the head and let oxygen actually get and touch those oils, they go red faster or darker. Well, definitely uh, great things to be learning. 
is. Yeah, I can't believe how it's beautiful, beautiful it is. There's the I can just see the peak to peak gondola going from Whistler to Blackholm. Um, would you like to hit the Medi Hayes with him, uh, My Little Pony? Um, would you like that? What you know what? Best? They were both so nice. Uh, I'll go back to My Little Pony. Would you like the 70, 90, or 120? Let's go 73. 73? Yeah, let's go 73. One of my favorites. They don't like the 73. There you go, sir. I'll tell you too, if any of you guys uh, are coming out to Whistler and you ride fairly well and you want to link up, um, I'm definitely in a position where I'm always looking for good people to ride with, always looking for people to link up with. Definitely, I'm not the guy to find you um, your smoke, so please don't ask. But I am the guy that'll take you around the mountain and show you amazing places and maybe, you know, have a, have a good afternoon together. So I'll put that out there. And, uh, and I'll put not. this in there. Yes. Yeah. It's always nice meeting new peeps. New peeps, new things, and and, and yeah, this is kind of cool. We got this uh, new med tanners that we're coming out with. These. Uh, oh yes, yes. Kind of, kind of some new things going on in right. our world. And how did they do that? Now, what is it? It's just a kind of a. It's just we just playing. Kind of. We're just playing. People ask for different things, and oh, yeah. so there's like a couple of prototypes trying to get some opinions. Mm -hmm. like Have fun, you know, new colors, new things. Bubble bag lights, something else new that's coming in. Yeah, they've been doing well. I mean, people have been waiting for them for, them for years. People had been waiting for those for years. Yes. So now they have them, and that's good. Yeah. I think I could let this uh, dry out a little bit quicker, but I was eager to uh, smoke it. Tastes nice. It's a very um, subtle thing to learn as a hash smoker. The difference between a cured hash and a, and a properly dried and cured hash, mm. as opposed to wet hash. I mean, really wet hash is pretty easy for most people to decipher, depending on how they're smoking it as well. Because it's one thing to use a B line, it's another to drop something into a, onto a D nail. Well, this has changed everything. It definitely has. <laughs> this is this is a whole new level now. Yeah, these electric nails are game changers for sure. I'm really uh, for for full melt bubble. It's just really it's the only way. I don't even have lighters anymore. I haven't lit. Well, we we looked for one this afternoon. <laughs> we couldn't find a lighter. <laughs> like I didn't have a D-nail for us. <coughs> Since my first D-nail arrived, I basically have not. Even at the Cannabis Cup this year, I smoked very few bulbs. Mostly everything was through the D-nail through the electric nail. Thank you, D-Nail. And thank you, Mothership. What a beautiful combination. Just love it all. Thank you, Whistler. Absolutely. Oh, looks like yeah. Looks like you packed one of them that was fairly big. I like that. <laughs> Why not? You got three out of that one. Oh, it's still burning, smoking off the... It is still burning. Yes. Well, <coughs> I think we have to um, go make some plans. We? Yeah, we're going to go make some plans. We're going to figure out where we're going to go next. I kind of want to take you guys up the mountain, show you guys around a little bit. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do that. I, of course, have a season's pass and have a snowboard, but I'm hanging out with John for the day and he's not going to be going snowboarding and whatnot. So we'll probably, if anything, make it up to one of the free parking lots up on Black Home at Base 2, <coughs> you know, drive around somewhere and find, uh, find a little place that we can just walk out of the parking lot onto the mountain, give you a little visual of what's going on up there. Might even get a lift pass and jump on the ground when we so up. Yeah, yeah, we could potentially do that too, get, get you a lift pass. Either way, if we do go up there, we'll bring the camera with us and we'll show you what's going on up there. And most importantly, I hope to be making some bubble, if not today, when we do it tomorrow morning, uh, potentially right here on the, on the deck. So, with the beautiful view. <laughs> with the beautiful view. So why don't we finish off with showing you that view, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Hey, good morning guys. Bubble Man John B here. Just waking up here in Whistler. 
We raged it pretty good last night. We uh, ate pizza and we puffed hard. Yeah, ate pizza and puffed hard, had some friends over. Uh, pro photographer Mike Helfrich was here, our friend Johnny. They brought a couple of friends. I saw my friend Ari from Texas Island that I haven't seen in like a decade. Yeah. So that, that was pretty incredible and uh, we turned them all on to the D-Nail. So, this morning John and I are trying to figure out where are we going to make bubble with you guys. We got this beautiful fresh frozen nugget that John cut down. Just beautiful plants. Um, we've got our bags and our buckets. We've even got a bubble now if we have power. But we're kind of trying to give you something a little bit more than just a hotel session. So we're thinking we're going to go out on the mountain somewhere, either near the Chicamas River or up on Whistler uh, Creekside. We're not sure exactly where, but we figured we'd do a couple of dabos before we before we start. So, a little dab will do you. A little dab will do you. Maybe we'll do the a uh, little GoPro uh, the GoPro dab cam. Go, go, pro, dab, count. I like that. Yeah. That's dab and fresh frozen. Not that uh, shatter of butter we're talking about. We're talking about real medicine here. Actually, I wouldn't say it's all medicine. Let's just say clean organic medicine. Let me rephrase that. It's quite important you get your cannabinoids up in the morning to uh, have a better. Day. Here we are. Oh, it sounds like uh, coffee is ready in the background. Coffee and bong ribs. No coffee for me. More of a tea kind of guy. Beautiful. This fresh frozen is absolutely white. It uh, smells like candy. I just can't believe the nice smell on this. Many A's. Yeah, the one thing you gotta do is... <laughs> oh yeah. You don't want to be wasting that goodness. Super stoked on hitting your fresh frozen cards. It's a good rip in the morning. More sativa, but with the cushion in it, so it's got the really zing left, but that nice cushy taste in the back that I really like. It's an interesting flavor. Definitely um, a winner. He just wants the smoke, okay? <coughs> oh, let's, let's smoke it then. It's one of those never ending hits. The taste on this, I cannot even describe it. Fruity overtones with these things I never taste. <laughs> Sticks in the throat. <coughs> It reminded me of one of my viewers just now when I looked at your face. One of my viewers said, I love how the grower is so proud. <laughs> John is proud. Well, I do enjoy growing good medicine. And I enjoy smoking good medicine. And I enjoy people who grow good medicine. I enjoy teaching people how to grow good medicine. Absolutely. Like you enjoy teaching people how to make great medicine from what they grow. Hence, that's why I have this marvelous fresh frozen here. A little bit of education, and uh, we got uh, from little dry sift and uh, stepped it up a notch to um, fresh frozen, which is uh, wow. Right. Definitely, uh, 
Turn the music down a little bit so we can be heard. I'm not sure how loud that was in the background, but I figured I'd turn it down a little bit. <coughs> yeah, pretty excited to make Bubble up here in Whistler. I've made it in a house before. A good friend of mine used to, well, he might still have the house. He used to, just back in the day when herb was quite expensive, he would buy half pounds of um, Renee and just run it right in the bags. That was pretty expensive back then. Close to 1500 for a half pound. So, today we're gonna do it with the fresh frozen. And what is it that we cut down again? I know we've mentioned My it. My Little Pony. It's the My Little Pony. My Little Pony. So tell them a little bit about My Little Pony. Like, what are the strains that were used to create My Little Pony? My Little Pony was um, some genetics though that was um, grandfathered me through uh, a friend of mine. And uh, he gave me some nice elite beans. And um, I took those to a Prairie Medicinal Cup in 2012 and won third place for Bubba Chem. So he took, he gave you seeds that you cracked, and it was Bubba Chem. Yes. Okay, and then so perfect. So we then you took that Bubba Chem, and we had I had it with a, a skunk haze. A skunk haze. A skunk haze. Nice. And that skunk haze came from um, unknown um, Mark 9293 SH and. I have a lot of different beans over the years. I've been um, playing and pumping seeds since the mid '80s, so mm. um, it's really I'm not it SH. It's it didn't S even say skunk haze. It said it's well, I can S tell what it was growing right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what it was and the beans that I got in the mid '90s. Right. It was just that time of year, and they mm. went into a bag. And I actually have some video footage of me popping these beans and them taped the inside of my box. Barney's this nice. diesel skunk haze. Okay, so it came from Barney's. I don't know, no, there's no, some no. other stuff I had. I had right, right. so many different seeds. Yeah. And this one, you can see the bag, and it's right, it's just a little bag, it says SH in black, 92. Right. Nice. So, I love to find the history of, of things. So, um, while smoking it for the first time, the gentleman there is where I got the beans from, were laughing, and like, it smells like my little pony. And we joked about it, and there's three of us in the room, and when we went to TY, we, uh, well, I actually started saying that to people. They, well, we called it My Little Pony, and people <laughs> love the name. And they <laughs> close their eyes and smell it. I'm like, yeah, it smells like my, it's such a fruity, tasty. It definitely is. It's, um. We're talking about it. Where is, where is it right now? Right we should go to smoke some. I think we should. I was just about to load up a dab of the OG, but um, here we go. We might as well nine be right on top. Right? All right, well, take a little My Little This is what I made on Christmas Day, actually. <laughs> the dab? Or You can get a half hit. There's definitely some smoke in there for him, so that's uh you know, always pay attention to your tool. You never know what you're leaving behind, right? It's all good medicine. Just enough to heat this up and give it a wipe. Alright, so that's clean. That's, um, you also find with the real, real melty stuff, especially dry sift, if you've got your hit on the pan, on the little scooper, and you hold it above the D-nail for too long, the resin melts almost immediately onto the spoon, and now you've actually got to like press it against the center piece rather than drop it. I prefer dropping it if I can, you know? Oh yeah, no, the dropping, that's why I like to roll it up a little bit too sometimes. So that was um, Christmas Eve. I made my cut myself down a Christmas present, and I put this into the freezer and uh, did a run of uh, My Little Pony Kush for Christmas. And because I haven't had a chance to see Mark over the holidays, I went up almost smoking it all. So we're gonna make another batch that way we can really puff it down hard because there's not that much left. <coughs> and I felt bad. Hey, <coughs> it's great. We're smoking it right now. <coughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Tasty. Oh yeah, it's good to be in Whistler. We're gonna try and find a good place today. I'm not no, sure where we, it's gonna we're be. We're gonna find this amazing place today and you guys are going to love it. It's gonna be really cool. Mm. Yeah, I suspect so as well. <coughs> this will be the first of many. As long as I can procure um, material the next batch we'll do will be up in Whistler, somewhere on the back country. We'll build a little igloo, and we'll do everything up there. 
And then after that, we'll go to Pemberton Ice Caps. Excellent. Well, I see, uh, John and I are going to finish our breakfast rips here, and uh, we'll get back to you really soon with uh, some bubble making. <clears throat> All right, a little bit rainy. We're gonna go look for a water source. Got my, uh, we're not gonna make it here, hey John? No, no, I got it all packed up here. It's all, all right. up, ready to go. So we're out of here. We're out of here. All right, got all our shit packed up. Just uh, grab uh, grab the Marlin Asher. Don't forget the CD. I got it. Alright. We are Audi. John, what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I just spilled the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first thing I did when we came in. It was like, <laughs> and this falls open. The little opens. All right. Okay. Let's move on here. We are out of here. Quick breakfast. Quick breakfast. Southside diner. Southside diner. Let's do this. Looks like you got room. Bon appetit, John. Nice and good. That's a belch. I'm having a scramble. We're filming our little session here that we've uh, stopped in at uh, with Phil. Audio. And uh, it's pre, we haven't gone to make the bubble yet. We're thinking of going up the Chequemus. We just went up Cadenwood. It was snowing at about a thousand feet. And uh, yeah, we figured we'd stop and have a quick session here. Hit the D-nail. Oh yeah, I should introduce uh, Devin. Devin's a friend of mine that I do a lot of snowboarding with and backcountry sledding with. And then Phil, who's kind of out of camera, he can lean in. Another local Whistler. Uh, ganja aficionado. <laughs> Cannabinoid intake lover. And of course, John B. And Oreo. And Oreo. Oreo's in the video today. Let's say we can get my video to the spotlight. Alright, so, yeah. Here. Perfect. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's my little pony. That's how you. That's, that's, that's flirting. That's what oh, I yeah. call that. <laughs> I checked my nuts out. <laughs> Fucking rage. <laughs> I checked them nuts out. So it's raining right now in Whistler. Down in the valley, anyway. We're not sure where we're going to make this bubble. I have a feeling it's going to be Chequemus, though. Which, is, for, for you that don't know, that's in Function Junction. Function! It's the Function. Nice. You don't have the grounds for your show, too. It's nice it's like to see you in person. I was like, well, here, brother. <coughs> Pony. Yeah, yeah, you're getting whatever you want. Yeah, pony. Yeah, one sec, one sec. We'll just do it. How do we do that? Oh, just kind of caught that on my carb cap. There you go. Carb cap, really. A couple of quick rips before we go do a little adventuring. I'm going to drive up the Chequemus River and find a nice spot where the snow is falling, where the rains turn to snow, freezing level. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a quick batch done up there. I think with the four of us, we should be able to, you know, have a couple of guys pull two bags each. You can pull two yeah. bags, he can pull two bags, he can pull two bags, I can pull a bag. And we'll just each literally have enough spoons and enough pressing screens that the bubble can... <coughs> I've never actually done a batch where you could almost pull... 
all the bubble out at once Just rather than one on. guy pulling a bag at a time. I've never thought seven guys each we each just pull the bag right away, scoop, it's like out in one shot. It would be uh, it's kind of like yeah. an assembly line. Preserving those flavonoids. Preserving the turps, yeah. exactly. Keeping them less in the water yeah. for those water soluble the turps we're talking about. Yep. You want to give him a carb cap? Well, it's taken a couple of days to try and make this bubble, but I think we're going to get it done. I cut it down New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve is when this came down. I was going to make a fresh bubble New Year's Day. Wow. But um, I kind of wanted to make it with you. Ooh. So here we are. We're stoked. All right, now we'll move it's, on to it's the new <laughs> That's why I always put Liz back on. <coughs> What? What do you mean? Oh no, when that got moved over. I'm oh, just yeah. explaining to the people. You always oh, put your yeah. lid back on. Oh yeah, you always put your lid back on. Someone parked just right there, you know, you got pulled over. Put your lids back. Ooh. You gotta smell this. Check that's, out. dude, that's lovely. Oh yeah, fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put. Oh yeah, fucking hate it. Yeah. Fuck fucking fucking hate it. Dude, that smells like candy. Yeah. Fucking rights it does. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take the first rip. You know what? Look at that. I guess I have it. It looks way bigger than it is because it's so. That's what she said. That's what she said. This is a new strain that I've done. Sick. It'd be nice to watch this melt, but. Yeah, it smells great. I like that. Oh, would you like to hang out? So the best thing about Medi Haze is that in the beginning gives you that zing, and the flavor in the end is just so like wow. It's, well, we're trying to name the flavor, and it's 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 like a I would say more like a like a like a fruit. Like, uh, but there is yeah. that small haze on the, in the on beginning. The, it is it is a little bit <coughs> open your tongue a little bit. It's kind of there. You can kind of tell it's there. Saying last night, there's a little bit of a little bit of that haze that's actually present there. Fucking lovely, lovely. <coughs> <coughs> like yeah, the salivation factor is kind of imminent. <laughs> it the 120 is I always say is the most flavorful, is yeah. the more smoke potent. Oh and my goodness, is that a verb? Just the most candy rific. And then the tasty. 90. It smells like a fresh nut. That's the closest oh, the to smell the fresh, the fresh by itself. Okay. Oreo wants to smell it. Yep. Only oh, oh, because it's just one of those. Gulp. Ready? Just because there's valuable heads just on the lid, that's why. <coughs> it's definitely a reasonable request, John, to keep the lid on your full melt hash, particularly when people are looking at it. Put the lid back on it. That way when you knock it over a couple minutes later when you're too high, it's just a mild second of uncomfortableness instead of... Oh my god, I just dropped. Oh my god. Three months worth of work and everything that I've been doing for the last three months all over the floor. Yeah, and the carpet. it's so sticky, carpet. it's now full of fibers oh. and you're just going to do what with it? Well, maybe rewash it, maybe. Maybe throw it back into a bag and try to get that out. Not going to work. I'd, prob I'd probably go tweezers. Tweezers. With this amount, I'd probably get a couple of tools. One like this, one, one like one, tweezer. One at a time. And yeah. my little, you know, eye loop thing. And It's not like it's a pound of it that you wouldn't be able to do, but... How's that hitting you, Phil? Steamroll it. It's really tasty. Man. It's beautiful, man. Dude, we have to make my little pony <laughs> bubble hash today. <coughs> Up on the cheap miss. Wow, it's funny how this name is actually <coughs> sticking. <coughs> and then that'll this will be step one of getting into making <coughs> pass with Whistler. Yeah, but next we'll do it on the mountain. Oh, I like yeah. the idea of with a group barbecue. Yeah. You know, people doing uh, building I want to a bring kicker, the out and you know, everyone a little barbecue. fire, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah build the, You know, it's getting dark out, so we can put a nice bright light in the igloo and make it glow. Yeah. Epic. I like it. You so, know? I like it. Come on. Yeah. Sure. And I think the really cool cool way to get it no, done would be that, that the whole yeah. reason to do it would be for that. 
you know, if everyone was on yeah. side, okay, where on are we going to do program. it? We've got a couple awesome. of good spots that we can go and build. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm proud of that Good one. people that'll huh? help yeah, out. Some of the best I've seen even smell. It smells great. It smells like freaking candy. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Always a good time to be had in Whistler. Oh, that smells just lovely. That's because of this D now, the way it just releases out, it's so tasty. The perfect temperature. <coughs> and every time you put something on this thing, it's just like, where's that, where's your, that old chocolate with that purple light? Yeah, it was so tasty last night. Um, my hash? <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, I like the nice cushions. Oh actually, you know what, I got some nice, nice stuff in here too. You know, so the there's that tasty from last night. Not those tasty. But then this, this one right here, possibly. this one, <laughs> this one, right. We did one many hey, we did one my little pony, right? One each? Yeah. Oh we gotta go make some hash, guys. Goodness. Yeah, we're yeah. getting I'm getting I'm getting, I'm getting really excited. Really it's it's kind of I mean, that's yeah. saying look at all this hash. We're smoking it all. I'm saying we're smoking it. We're talking to these guys over here. And <laughs> this is like we've got the boxes. We've got oh. the boxes. We've oh. got the pressing screens. So we've got the hash. So this is watermelon. Is that the melly? Oh. Yeah. That's that. Well, we're going to stay yeah. for one more. Yeah, that stuff is just, that's candy, man. That smells like candy. We have candy. Yeah. This is how I roll. Everyone wants to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the treasure box, man. You like that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. Full All of different hash. flavors. Everything's yeah. packed up. Everyone's got something good in it. Yeah. And he's got a lovely pink piece of paper to go along with. Open up that one. Check out that. That's, that's the number four. The number four. The number four. What's that now? It's a <laughs> pack of OG. OG. Yeah, is oh. that the one that we gave Buddy? Yeah, it's just cake, man. No. <laughs> that was a pre-98. Oh, that was a pre-98. Pre-98. Yeah, oh, that's no, special. No, that's, that's another special. So look at that. Special. I just played with that a little bit. Whoa. That's quite... And what, um... What screen is that? <clears throat> oh, that'll be 90 mic. Oh, here, before yeah. I put this in my container, I'd like to have a match. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. That looks like fucking candy, dude. Like, well, we're gonna smoke it. Yeah, yeah, Let's, we're let's get rid of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So here, John, if you want to... Really, John? I want the dabber for that one. Let's just make it... That was pretty tasty, eh? Yeah, this needs to be seen. I'll have to take a picture of my that's... camera doesn't self-focus. Oh, that's retarded. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. I think you have uh, a quarter pound of it sticking somewhere. <laughs> I, I did. I house. love that. Remember I left that quarter pound at your house? Oh, I think it's down in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I keep leaving weed lineup, but that's what I left lying over at Mark's. I forgot about it, and that was about a month and a half ago. But we're gonna we're gonna do a video dry sifting probably next buff, wasn't it? That uh, that quarter pound. Yeah, exactly. And now we found some buds. And, yeah, there we go. You know, make People some like real medicine from some real buds. Yeah. yeah. Get some nice macro. You're hitting this, aren't you? Fucking yeah. Is Sam yet? No. Yeah. Nominees are. And the nominees are oh, right now, still for best the rip of the year, so I'm 2014. Because I was just doing the small hitters. In the hotel. Not those other ones. You were hitting huge rips. I don't know. You were just packing giant. I took one that I thought was big, and then you loaded him one even bigger and dumped it in the middle. I know. So and then I... you loaded him another one. I was like, damn, we're puffing tough here. What's puffed tough? <laughs> it's always nice when the rips are plenty. I'd say puffing tough. Oh, at this point in time, you probably noticed from the start of the video that John and I have shorter hair. Oh, it is true that we got all stoned and ended up going and cutting our hair. It seemed like the good thing to do at the time. Anyway, now that that's been said, uh, how's that? <laughs> Tasty? That's probably like, oh, I don't know, about a year old now. Is that what you had in TY last year? HD year. Mm, I don't Cause know. Because you had some really, really nice smell Ooh, last year yep. in TY. Oh, no, that's really nice. Oh, Take it around. I'm coming around the mountain. I'll watch the uh, board. Yeah. Yeah. You know the best thing? That never kinks. 753. We are talking about that temperature yesterday. So I'm not worried about it this. I can kind of just even bring it closer. There's no reason to even have it back there. There's really nothing too bright in one there. No, and with the wood box, I feel even safer with it. 
but I haven't dropped it. The rubber um, feet make it so it doesn't slide in any way, shape, or form. Like it's like even like when it's on glass or a surface, I'd actually have to lift it up. I would never even be able to pull it towards me because it's just stuck. It's like that on my desk as well. <coughs> <coughs> How's that? <coughs> oh, do you even need to ask? That was lovely. That was beautiful. <coughs> load your cell phone up. I'll take the last one. What'd you say? I said, load your cell phone up. I'll take the last, the last hit. Yeah, we'll give you that very big thing. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Got a decent size. As it should be. I'd say that you're curious for a pretty good job of that. Network. Yeah, really. Um, Changes. Yeah, it's much more um, sedentary, say sedative. Mm -hmm. Much yeah, heavier. For sure. Well, I'm it sure some of the thicker. THCs turn to CBD, CBN. Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty medicinal. <coughs> yeah, I like it. It's definitely, uh, it, it's enjoyable. You know, from smoking, you know, fresh frozen. It was cut down very recently, and now we're even smoking, and it's still quite recently within a month anyway. It's pretty. It's and then cool. to something that's, uh, you know, was, for a while. this stuff was also, um, the material was dry and dried for almost uh, six months. Wow. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. <coughs> I love that extra one from behind for you because I think that big one, the first one, you got robbed somewhere along the line, so we're going to do that last one. <laughs> right, I'm feeling bad. It's my fault. Bonus round. round. Yeah, see that we were talking about this yesterday. Oh, he wants the bonus round. He's like <coughs> the carb cap. I will snap because I was already in the midst of uh, getting the the next hit ready. Thank y'all. Ah, uh. <coughs> yeah, that's. <coughs> okay. So okay. deep, different. Yeah. So completely different. Yeah. <coughs> it's almost the like one was hit. a meal and one was a dessert. One lighter, heavier. This one was a dessert. It was so just delicious and candy yeah. and like, oh my god, it yeah. was exciting. It's really light. This one was definitely more like <coughs> serious. It's it's a little more, more serious. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But well, it's the other one's got the sativa in it. Yeah. And it's more uplifting. They settle right in. Like well, the it. watermelon is usually a racy high. Yeah, I said I was about it's to very, say yeah, It's very, it's very like, nice this now. gives people anxiety. It does. It yeah. does, truly. Yeah. Normally, but now it's a year old and it's acting different. Yeah, I like that. And I, I'm cons <coughs> convinced it has to do with the <coughs> the modulating effects of the tea, uh, the terpenes <coughs> being affected by their volatility. <coughs> the fact that they're evaporating and changing more so than the cannabinoids. Are I think, you know, from my own. I, I think we need to go <coughs> extract <coughs> some cannabinoids, <coughs> some um, fresh bud that's cool. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's do that. All right. Okay, guys. All right, we're going.